Home decoration with lightings are beautiful, but creating that lighting by yourself is awesome. In today's video, I will show you how you can make your own IR mood lamp with very few components. The build is pretty easy and simple to understand. Without further delay, let's jump right into it. I used a pitch plywood with 5mm thickness so that I can build the enclosure out of it. Here is a rough idea how the enclosure will look. The base will be a square frame of 10 x 10 cm and the top will be 11 x 11 cm. Now for the size with dimension of 2 10 x 4 cm and 2 11 x 4 cm. Then I mark the respective dimension of the parts individually on the plywood and after that with the help of a hacksaw I cut down every piece to their respective shape and then sand down every edge using a sanding paper. It took me nearly an hour to complete this stupidity and finally the parts look somewhat like this. After this I mark the necessary holes for the respective DC jack, the LED and the switch which is then cut out by drilling holes in each corner and cut it out later. After the cut was done, I immediately fixed the switch and the DC jack. Then I used some wood glue to join each edges with the adjacent edge and continue till we get our square frame. After the glue is dry, the end product will look somewhat like this. Well, I haven't placed the fourth side yet. Another key material for this project is this acrylic sheet with a thickness of 3mm. I used the measure of width to be 4cm and the length to be 22cm and cut 3 pieces which will be used to form a triangular shaped frame. Align all the 3 pieces adjacent to each other and with the help of electrical tape stick 2 pieces of side together. Do this for the remaining to form the triangular shape. Let's move on to the control electronics. The brain of the system is the Arduino Nano. I use the IR receiver which can receive the hex code from a remote like this one and for the lighting I use the RGB 5mm LED. Before we pack everything up, it's always a good idea to practice everything on a breadboard. Place the Arduino on the breadboard and connect the data out pin of the IR receiver to pin 11. Don't forget to connect the VCC and ground line to plus 5 volt and ground respectively. Now an important thing here is to download the IR library if you don't have it already. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Now under example, just upload the IR dump code without making any changes. Once the upload is done, press any key of your remote and you will see the hexadecimal value of that key in the serial monitor. Copy it down or memorize it, whichever is easy for you, because you'll be needing this afterwards. At least do this for 3 buttons. Moving on. I took a perf board of suitable size that will fit in the enclosure. Then I shoulder the female headers for the Arduino Nano, just not to make it permanent. Shoulder the IR receiver connecting its data out pin to pin 11. Now take 3 wires from pin 3, 7 and 9 of the Arduino to the cathode of the RGB LED. Then connect the common anode to plus 5 volt. Now upload the code and let's give it a test. Once you know everything is working as per as your idea, it's time to pack it inside the enclosure. Find the center point on the top plate and drill a hole of 5 mm because that's the diameter of the LED I'm using. All we are left with the connection of DC jack and the main switch. If you want to build something similar, you can find the part list, code, schematic in the description below. Now I used plenty of hot glue to fix the LED and the PCB on the wooden enclosure. Then again with the help of hot glue I enclosed the enclosure and glued the acrylic frame at the top. The final product looks somewhat like this. You can always code your choice of pattern just by changing few lines of code. Just like the acrylic frame, you can use any material, for example, 
a transparent water bottle will also do. I hope you like this video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support me through Patreon that really helps to keep the show going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.